Well, welcome back to base camp, WNC. Well, we're here in the northern, northwestern corner of North Carolina on this spring job. And this spring actually fed a little home site, a little homestead down the creek here, downhill. Um, of course, as you can tell, if I can zoom in a little bit here, there is water flowing out of it, but a good bit of it. They tried to, way back in the day, they tried to brick it up against this rock and um, there's a lot more water running down here than what's flowing over the top. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to knock that brick out, dig the concrete up, figure out where the spring actually flows back in here. Put a plastic dam in and uh, Mr. Danny, the landowner, done cut a piece of barrel up for this project and he was going to do this himself when he decided to i guess throw the towel in call me and it's kind of what i do so let's go in here i'm gonna take this big old digging bar see if i can knock this brick up and uh get down and see exactly where the water comes at back here in the spring okay I knocked out this brick wall going over there. That right here in this corner is where it was leaking. But if I get back here and kind of show you, this wall is rock. It's sitting on solid rock. The whole back end is rock. They do have a brick wall running back in here, but what I'm gonna do is run out tonight and get some hydraulic cement. I don't know if it'll pick up, it might. But the only place it's running it's between the seam of these two rocks right here. And as you can tell, it's flowing pretty good. So that's what we're gonna dam up, and that's what we're gonna capture. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna cement the dam in from here, being this is natural rock here, natural rock on the back, natural rock on the back wall, and you're not gonna be able to sit that blue plastic drum into it, and it really won't hell won't really hold with bentonite. So we're gonna use hydraulic cement. I'll show you that in a minute. But we're gonna go ahead and mix some up and just start putting a big old bead of it down here right where we're gonna set the plastic into it. And as usual, the video of me cementing this blue plastic strip in didn't work. Now this little damn wall isn't but five and a half inches by 22 inches long. You can see on that left corner uh, in the picture, the cement showing on that piece of the dam wall, but it's about a two inch bead down the bottom, a two inch up the back wall and about a two inch glob of cement on the front. And of course in the bottom is drilled with an inch and a quarter hole and they put a pipe fitting in it. And that's where the water comes out. I get a chance. I'm going to have to make up a mock of one of these things and make a video of it. Sorry, but this is the skill of my videography work. Okay, we washed the stone out of the bag. This is just marble chips. It doesn't have to be that. Anything works. We've completely filled up the dam wall with it. We're actually going to take the stone bag, put over top of it, anchor it down, and then we're going to backfill. Well, here it is with the dam wall in place, putting a cover on it. You can see in front of the left foot right there, the black pipe coming out for the line going down to the tank. We're going to take you down and show you the tank build now and putting the pump and the pressure tank all in to complete this whole system. Well, and as usual, I forgot to bring a measuring cup. But here, temporarily, is what that spring's doing right now. We've got to go up there and cement it up. It is in rock. But this is what I have here. The pump is going to screw in over here. This is a four-inch piece of pipe, just like well casing. We're going to then put that piece of pipe over it. The, well's in the, the well pump is in the middle. I'll show you that later. This is nothing but a one-inch barb, inch and a quarter hole in that cap. We're going to drill a hole for the wires to come out and the rope. And uh, I'll show you that as we get it done, and I'll explain it to you why. So I've now attached the pump. This will be the pull cord. Here's the wires coming out. 
Put a bunch of tape and a piece of tube on them to protect the edges and all. Safety line's tied there. Here's the power line coming in. And now we're gonna go ahead and put this piece of pipe over it. And I'll show you what it looks like. So here's what we've done. We've now slid the pump. We're put this piece of four inch pipe over the pump. And what this is for, the motor's here on the bottom end. And the manufacturer, and, and when you mount a pump, it either has to be totally vertical in the pump or, or in the tank or horizontal. Can't be anything in between, it wears the bearings out. But what it does, like if you picture this thing in a well, water has to flow past the motor the impellers up here where the water gets sucked in the pumps above it um and that water flowing through it is what keeps that motor cool even though it's sitting in water it'll actually get hot right alongside it so it needs the water flowing over it just like it was in this piece of well casing that's what it was designed so when you put them in a tank or on a dock or anything else you really need to put the pump inside a piece of pipe so it pulls water over top that motor to keep it cool. Well, here it is. We got the wires spliced in, waterproofed, everything else. And then we'll, I drilled 11 sixteenths hole and put a waterproof through fitting for the electrical wires. So, of course, no critters can come in and out of there. And uh, all I got to do now is get all this in that little hole. And this is one of these things that the normal tanks I like to use with the 18 or 24 inch hole are in non-existent supply because of the pandemic and all the excuses that nobody wants to work. So this is what we're using on this job because this was available now. Well, the tank and everything's pretty much done. Of course, we just have it temporary in the spring, but it is overflowing. Here is the water line going up to the house. Of course, the power line coming out in the cap, and it does have an air vent on the inside. But here's the other end. Now, I've just turned the tank valve on. So this is the pump line coming out, going up the hill. And when he leaves, it's just a part-time weekend thing. He'll shut this valve off, open this one up, and this entire line going up the hill for right now, everything all the way up to the camper, will drain out and it won't freeze until somebody gets ambitious enough to start burying the whole thing, which I guess is on the list to do too. But right now, I guess it depends on what Putin and Russian's up to. So let me get up here. I'm gonna hook up the electric, get the pump running, then come back down and do this spring and wrap this one up. Well, this right here is one of these freeze-proof hydrants and I wanna show you how I kind of put them in because even though the handle is all the way up there, you get buried about here, but down here is actually the valve that it shuts off. And this is the drain, so that when you shut it off, all the water drains out of that pipe, comes down into the ground, and that's what makes them all freeze proof. I wanted to show you that before I buried it. Let me show you after I get it done. Here's the valve, here it is closed. I've driven this steel fence post in, and it's just one with a bend in the back end so the pipe fits up in there. I cut it off level so it actually supports right here. This keeps it from falling down. I've taken a three inch piece of pipe and then cut a notch in it right here. And that kind of, that will slide over the pipe. We'll put gravel in there and pick it up just enough so it doesn't rest on the pipe. And that'll hold the gravel. I'll show you in a minute. So it drains. Well, there it is. We backfilled it with gravel. Put some down the pipe. Now we'll put a piece of plastic or something and cover over that. And that way when the water drains, when you then shut this valve off, it'll have a place for all the water to drain. Because in this heavy clay soil, it would just sit there this pipe wouldn't drain out and then the whole thing would freeze. Well, in a very confusing video that I shot here on Mr. Danny's property, uh, we captured this old spring, uh, the old spring right here off the old homestead, ran it right down about 50 feet away to a tank, 
and with the pump in the tank, we pumped it all the way up the hill to his camper site, and we have running water for him, and he's in business. If I can ever help you or give you a better idea on how to do your spring job, if you need to, contact me. I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you for watching.